Hello everyone, I hope you're ready for this video today because it has been a long time coming. It is my makeup collection and storage video. I have been so excited to share this video with you. I hope you're ready to see everywhere that I hoard all the makeup and I hope you enjoy it. The first thing I have on my vanity are these two like places where I keep my brushes. I keep my small kind of eye brushes in this empty Jo Malone candle and then I keep my bigger kind of face and cheek brushes in this pot. It's from Amaya. So I just shove them all in there. I know it's quite gross and unhygienic to have them out here but I like having them where I can reach them. And then this gorgeous little heart tray is from J Crew, and I just keep like random rings in there. And then next to that is this neon candle. And I always keep my favorite fragrance of the moment. Behind the little mirror here is this H&M thing I picked up. I'm not really sure what it's supposed to use it for, but I actually just keep all my hair stuff in there. I keep like mousse and sprays and heat protectors. Just anything that I kind of reach for on a daily basis. I've kind of separated everything into sections. These little kind of separated trays are from Muji. Gotta have wipes. I always like end up with some foundation patch on my hand or something. The biggest section in here is where I have like palettes. So I have like some cheek palettes. I have an eye palette like this Too Faced one. I keep some foundation, some blushes, some bronzer all that kind of big palette -y stuff. Then moving along to the left, the next section I keep is concealers. So I have like some NARS, some Tarte, some Collection. And then the section after that is mascara. So I have like my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, my Estee Lauder Sumptuous Waterproof mascara. And then the top section is where I keep eyeliners and eye crayons and anything kind of eye related like eyebrow stuff. So I have like Charlotte Tilbury crayons, the Sigma Eye Base. And then the last section to the left is any lip products. So I have like some Revlon Matte Balms, some lip liners like Charlotte Tilbury and Rimmel. And then I always just have like a random lip balm in there. This one's from Caudalie. And then the little section at the back is where I keep tools. So I have like eyebrow scissors, eyebrow tweezers, a clip, a hand sanitizer, that kind of thing. Then I have two sprays, like a makeup setting spray and a brush cleaner spray. And and then I keep random things like my beauty blenders, my beauty blender sponges, some q-tips and that is that drawer done. And then over here I have two Ikea Alex drawers and they're kind of separated with a bookshelf in the middle. This is where I basically store all my perfumes. It's one of my favorite bits of my entire room. I love it so much and I love looking at it and deciding what to use every day. My favorite ones are these little mini Chloe ones at the front I think and then also my mini Jo Malone's as well. Oh and I can't forget my little tiny tiny minis at the front too. Above my little bookshelf I have these three candles. Estee actually bought me these candles for my birthday last year and I love them so much and I love that they match. They're from Tom Dixon. Next to that I have another little pot from Amaya where I keep my brushes. These are kind of really big fat brushes. <laughs> Lastly I have this gorgeous illustration from my friend Natasha which I keep up here next to my giant lipstick storage. At the top I keep my like most reached for lipstick. So I have like some Charlotte Tilbury, YSL and MAC. So I have like all the matte revolution Charlotte Tilbury's up here which I adore. Rouge Sheer Candies I reach for a lot of the time so I keep those up there as well. My first drawer is a whole lot of Tom Ford. So I have like some Tom Ford Lips and Boys, some Tom Ford Sheer Lipsticks, some Tom Ford More Pigmented Lipsticks. The drawer after that is where I keep some other YSL lipsticks and some Rimmel as well. Basically all my lipsticks are kind of organized by brand so I have like some Lipstick Queen down here, some Giorgio Armani. I do want to show you this limited edition MAC lipstick. It's from the Riwi Wu collection and I love it because it's rose gold and so beautiful. And then in the last drawer is where I keep like random lipsticks. Don't really fit into like a brand category like this NARS lipstick which actually I was sent and it has my initials on it which is very special to me and I rarely use it because I think it's such a little collector's thing. Top drawer on my IKEA Alex is where I keep collectible things. This is kind of like special stuff that I don't really use often or ever. <laughs> I have this hula and it has Amelia on it. I have this Dior nail polish that also has Amelia on it. Well, it's called Amelia, so I just think it's really cute and special because that's my name. <laughs> and then what else do I have in here? Oh my gosh, does anyone remember this? Gemma Kid Dewy Glow All Over Radiance Cream. I love that stuff and it's now obviously no longer sad times. I have this MAC 
lip balm. It was from their Hello Kitty collection years and years ago. It's probably off or old or I don't even know, but I love Hello Kitty, so I kept it. And then Guerlain did a collection with Poochie a while ago, and I kept these little pearls from that. After that drawer comes eye stuff. So the first thing I have over here is any eye crayons. Then it moves on to liners and then brows. So these eye crayons, I have like a little tiny Charlotte Tilbury one that I love. I have some by Terry. I have some Giorgio Armani. Any kind of glide on eye crayon. And then next is eye pencil. So I have everything from browns to nudes to blues. I keep liquids in here as well. This blue liquid from YSL is so cool. And then lastly, I have brows. So I have a lot of brow gel. I really like brow gels. I have a L'Oreal brow artist plumper, a Maybelline brow drama. This one's really nice as well. I use this on like special occasions. <laughs> it's Giorgio Armani. And then if I take those two sections out at the back here is where I keep lashes. Now I really rarely wear false lashes so that's why they're kind of hidden at the back. The drawer after that is more eye stuff. The first thing I'm going to show you is my cream eyeshadows. I have quite a few from MAC and then Maybelline. And then next is mascaras and I keep quite a few mascaras in here because I like to switch up and change my mascaras and I have quite a few mascara primers and then at the back is where I keep single eyeshadows that I can't really store in a palette so I have like this Urban Decay really glittery thing that I love I think it's called Diamond Dog I really fell in love with that one and then I have this Stiller metallic eyeshadow as well that's like in some antique gold color and then on the right is where I keep stuff that I buy a lot of that I <laughs> really like and the first one these um, I think they're called L'Oreal, oh yeah, they're the L'Oreal Colorish L'Ombre Pure eyeshadows and I have quite a few shades of these, I think they're the most like unique, gorgeous, blendable, pigmented, like every good eyeshadow description word you can think of ever. And then in the next little section I have my Charlotte Tilbury palettes, I love these eyeshadow quads, they're so gorgeous and they're all kind of themed, so I keep them all together. And then in the last section I keep any pigments, so I have a couple of MAC pigments, I have some eyeshadow primers, I also keep eyeshadow primers in here and then any kind of like Sigma or L'Oreal loose eyeshadows. Again all these little storage compartments are actually from Muji, they're so useful. Now this drawer is such a mess, <laughs> this is like my peachy pink, this is actually my lip gloss drawer but it's basically my peachy pink lip gloss drawer because as you can see I'm a peachy pink lip gloss hoarder, I have so many in here and I just hoard them so so much and then the section behind is where I keep more brights or vampy colours. Basically any colour that's not a peachy pink is in the second compartment. Oh what a shocker, in the next drawer there's some more lip products. So in the first little bit is where I keep actual crayon like sticks, so I have this one from Lord and Berry, I have like a NARS one and those are the more vampy colours and then the next section I also keep more sticks but these are the peachy pink kind of colours like this pixie one and this Revlon one and then the last compartment is actually lip liners I'm obsessed with lip liners so this is where I keep all of mine where I can reach them easily I love this little tiny Charlotte Tilbury one as you can see and then the next drawer down is where I keep my skincare this is kind of organized into serums and oils other stuff and creams the oils I keep in here is like Clarins my favorite Clarins oil a couple of others I'm testing I also keep my Clinique SPF and then I keep my little eye creams down the side, spare packet of wipes and also lot of pots. This is kind of like the pot section so I have like my Glam Glow mask, a mask from La Roche-Posay, um, a little sample of this MV Organics moisturizer, um, by Terry lip balm, basically anything in a pot I keep in this little compartment at the back. And these skincare bits are actually stored in an old birch box. Next drawer down is body care. Now my body care drawer isn't super organized. It's not really how I would like to kind of organize it just because the bottles are so big that I'm not really sure what to do with them. So I kind of have like fake tans, body lotions, body scrubs, any kind of stuff that I don't really use all the time that's in my bathroom like SPF or fake tan. My last drawer in this section is hair care and I don't really have too much hair care aside from the ones on my actual dressing table. So I keep like a spare of my Orbea Dry Texturizing Spray, some Batiste, this Show Beauty Hair Perfume which I love, some spares of the Bumble and Bumble Preta Powder which I also am obsessed with. Starting from the top of another drawer, this kind of 
goes in application of how I apply my makeup, if that makes sense. So everything starts off with primers. At the bottom I have stuff like Rimmel, a little Chanel one, some L'Oreal, and then the ones at the top I have like my Charlotte Tilbury, some Maybelline, some By Terry, some Topshop. And then the next drawer down is foundations. I'm obsessed with foundations. This drawer is seriously about to overflow. This is the thing I probably test out the most of. So I have like my By Terry, some Dior, some Charlotte Tilbury, some more Charlotte Tilbury under there. After foundation, I normally apply my concealer, so I have quite a few concealers in here. I keep liquid and stick concealers in the bottom here, so anything with a brush, and then at the top, I keep more cream concealers, so this one you can see is more of like a pot-like consistency, like that Kevin O'Quan one, and then I have this Laura Mercier powder, basically anything in pot form. I also have this Soap and Glory one, which I love, because it has like a powder and two little shades. So in this very over overflowing drawer. The first section to the left is where I keep powders. So I keep everything like my Bourjois Healthy Balance powder, my Basame Brightening Vanilla powder, this NARS Press powder, and then these two little sections are blushes. So I organize my blushes by brand. So I have like some Milani, some Tarte, like this Amazonian clay one which I love and then some Milani baked blushes and then some more Milani blushes but then these are like the rose embossed blushes and then I also have some Benefit box blushes like Dallas and then by the side is where I have like blush palettes that I can't really store in the actual section so I have like this Bobbi Brown blush palette and then this limited edition Hourglass blush palette. At the back is where I keep loose powder so I have this Ben Nye loose powder some Tarte loose powders. I don't really use my loose powders too much. I'm not a big loose powder fan anymore. So I kind of keep them at the back where I don't really need to reach them that often. And then this next drawer is where I keep bronzers and highlighters. Now the section to the furthest left is where I keep highlighters. So I have like a pinky Charlotte Tilbury one, which I love. It's from her Norman Parkinson collection. And then this Kevin O'Quan one, which is called Candlelight. It's in the old packaging though. And also one from Estee Lauder from her summer collection. In the middle is where I keep bronzers and contour powders. So I have like this Rodial contour powder, a Too Faced bronzer, which I really love. And then if anyone's been watching me for a while, you'll know I love this Physicians Formula bronzer. I keep even more bronzers all the way to the right. So I have like Hourglass and then my Bourjois little chocolate bronzer. And then all the way at the back is where I keep giant bronzers with amazing mirrors. So this Marc Jacobs one and this Clarins Summer bronzer bronzing compact. They're kind of like huge bronzers so I kind of keep them at the back because they can't really fit upright. So in my next drawer down the biggest section here is palettes. So these are where all my kind of small palettes go. So I have like some NYX, some Wet n Wild, some Essence, a Dior one, any kind of five eyeshadow around their numbered palette. I also keep a lot of cream products separate because I feel for me personally I have to really be in the mood to use cream products. I have quite a few Daniel Sandler watercolor blushes. I have like a little Burberry cream product. I have this kind of Erin multicolor lip and cheek product. At the back in another section I keep any kind of stick cream products. So I have a lot of NARS multiples which I love. Tarte Sculptor and Estee Lauder kind of liquid blush. And then this has got to be one of my favorite drawers of the entire section. This is my palettes drawer. It's quite hard to organize. They're all kind of stacked on top of each other. But I have my Too Faced at the top. I have a couple of MAC palettes underneath. I have my Lorac Pro and Pro 2 palettes palettes under there as well. Of course I also have my other Lorac palette. This is the Pro To Go I think it's called. And then at the back I have all of my naked palettes and a couple of random other ones like this one from NYX and then I have another one from Barry M and Too Faced as well. So I have a whole section of my Maybelline Superstay 7 day nail polishes which I love. I also organize all the rest of my nail polishes by brand so I have like YSL in one section, Essie in another section and then like some other other ones like Sephora or whatever that I don't really have too many of kind of stacked all together and then the section at the top right is where I keep any nail tools nail cream and nail fixer quick dry drops that kind of thing so I hope you guys have enjoyed watching my makeup collection and storage I am such a hoarder <laughs> it really is ridiculous make sure to subscribe for weekly videos from me and my Instagram is at Amelia Liana and I will see you soon bye